Hey guys, it's me, Galco. I just wanted to make a quick video and talk to you about talents and what I do and what seems to be the best strategy as of yet. Okay, give me two seconds. So, I'm currently in my um, main account in State 139. Uh, it's a little bit different than the newer states because in our old state, we can just go into our Alliance store and we have all these that we can purchase. In the newer states, you actually have to save up your coins and hope that the talent point reset pops up at a decent price or pay with like 2,000 bio caps. So for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to do it in my main account. So... You can purchase a talent point reset and then you would go up into the top left hand corner where you see your profile picture and you see where it says talents you click on that and we have two rows we have the war talent and we have the economy so for myself because i am at a, a high level i have quite um, a bit of talents you can see i have 215 so i like to distribute them between the two um options and um, the most important ones that i think everybody should focus on is the for war um you would just click on it and then you once you use that you can go either the top or the bottom and do both. I always focus on the top. I make my way through here. The urgent recall is really good, especially if you have a march um, far away. If you have this talent unlocked, you can use it and it'll bring all your troops back within three seconds. And it's really good for like if you're in an emergency and you're about to be your settlement's about to be attacked, for example. So you can click on that and then it'll rush all your troops back to home base. And it just it's an eight hour cooldown after that. And then you can reuse it again. And I'm just going to keep going through my talents. Do -do -do. Whoops. Until we get to, in my opinion, the most important one. your massive march talent so the massive march talent it increases your maximum march capacity by 10 percent for 30 minutes and then there's a 12 hour cooldown so i use that a lot i use it um every two days for trap because it allows me to hold more troops in my march which increases my uh, battle power and it's it's really handy to have and also um, it's good for even for any rally, really, if you needed to make sure that you needed to be as strong as possible. So that's the most important one I use for war. And then in the economy, I can show you which ones I always use. Do -do -do. Instant collect this one here so it instantly collects two hours of production from all your resource buildings and there's a 12 hour cooldown that is perfect for when you need resources for well you need resources for everything but especially when you are upgrading buildings so having that talent is handy so every 12 hours you can click it and it will instantly give you just a big um bulk of resources all in one and then the other one that everybody really should have. And it's, to me, so handy. And it's right here, the rapid development. So it reduces the time of new construction or research tasks by 20%. It applies to tasks started within a period of five minutes and there's a 24 hour cooldown. So this one is key, especially for when you are going to upgrade your headquarters or upgrade your hero precinct because once you get up there in um, levels, it can take two weeks, three weeks, and that's a long time to wait for an upgrade. But by using the rapid development, it will cut the march or the production time 
by 20%. So you can knock a couple days off depending on how long the construction is. So just that alone, to me, those are the three most important talents that I like to have. So I was able to split it between the two. And look, at I still have 101 more talents that um, I can use, like talent points, sorry, that I can use. So um, the other one that I find is um, we just finished having um, state versus state and I ended up having over 900,000 dead troops. Now, thankfully, we get at least um, 90% of those troops back. But I still, it is now, it's been what, four days? And I still have like 60,000 of them in the enlistment. So having all my talents on economy really reduces the healing time. So I highly recommend that. Um, so you can switch back and forth from war talent to economy, especially when, um, if you're going to go for a bunker fight, you would want to have all your talents set to war. Um, for a reservoir raid, all your talents sent to war. But other than that, I would keep them on economy. Unless you have a lot of talent points, then you can split it between the two. Um, one of the setups that people seemed that really work um, for war, and it, it sounds complicated, but it's not. So this is what they say. If you have two options, always go for the lower one. So they're saying the lower tier here. So that's what they're saying because lethality and it's also um, health. And then it, if you have three options and what they mean by three options, see how there's this one and this one, this one. So if you have three options, always go for the higher one. So that would be the attack and your defense of your infantry. And always move ahead and never buy twice in the same area or group. So they're saying basically keep on moving forward and not to buy your talents like how you bought the attack of your infantry, attack of your riders. And then it's, it's all a matter of preference. You can play around with your talents. I... Because I have 85 more talents, I would personally, um, I got my hospital capacity increased, healing speed, battle dressing, because right now I'm still healing, tool improvements, good, building construction, speed, And you can kind of just play. And like I said, you can change this at any time. It's not until you get to VIP 12 where you can have the, I think it's called the rapid switch or something, where you can switch over to war or economy quick without having to click on all of these. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on what ones I would recommend you using. So again, that would be your massive march. And then in the economy, your rapid development, as well as the instant collect. There's no wrong talent to pick. They're all beneficial in one way or the other. But if you just wanted some quick tips on talent, that's what I got for you. All right. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye now.